Meg mad as Kevin Costner reject her to unbox his golden glove. After missing the ceremony due to flooding, Kevin Costner was finally able to hold his golden globe. The Yellowstone star Kevin Costner has officially accepted his golden globe. In January 2023, Costner received the award for Best Actor in a Drama Series for his performance in Yellowstone, but he was unable to attend the ceremony because to flooding near his house. Costner sat on his bed and unboxed his trophy in a new video that was uploaded to his social media accounts on Monday. It wasn't the same when we watched at home when he described what it was like to watch the show remotely, Costner stated in the video. As it would just be the two of us and our family in the den watching the Golden Globes, something we envisaged ourselves being there, for, and something I dreamed about, Costner's wife Christine Baumgartner brought about 30 balloons home for him, he said. It meant a lot to me to be recognized as an actor, he continued. As soon as Costner touched the trophy in his hands for the first time, he thanked his loved ones and said, it feels extremely fantastic to finally hold the honor. I'm so grateful I found the movies in my life, it made a difference, Costner said after thanking his family and the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, the organization that decides who wins the Golden Globe Awards. The Field of Dreams actor has been nominated for seven Golden Globes, he previously won acting and Best Director prizes for Hatfields and McCoys in 2013 and 1991, respectively. Prince Harry's nickname reveals Princess Diana believed he was more qualified to be king. According to a critic, Princess Diana gave her youngest son a particular name to make Harry feel that extra special. When they were little, Princess Diana gave her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, beautiful nicknames. Harry, her youngest child, was given the name the endearing appellation Good King Harry has a secret connotation, according to a royal observer. Charles Ray, speaking on behalf of Slingo, disclosed that the princess would use the abbreviation GKH for her youngest son because she thought he would have been better qualified for the role as a future king. The young prince's endearing pet name, according to the royal expert, was used to make Harry feel that extra special. Princess Diana gave Prince William a nickname when he was a young boy. Willem was called Wombat by both she and Charles when he was considerably smaller. Diana gave it to him, according to Mr. Ray. This comes after disclosures in Prince Harry's shocking autobiography, Spare, that he once called the Prince of Wales Willie and that his brother later referred to him as Harold. Since that Harry is not his real name, Mr. Ray, the author of The People's Princess, pointed out that Prince William's reference to him calling his younger brother Harold made no sense. Harry's real name is Henry, thus Harold is a mystery. I think William and Harry were just having a little bit of fun. Mr. Ray claims that the Duchess of Sussex is referred to by his friends as Spike, while Meghan Markle frequently calls her husband H. or Oss. But, renowned royals other than Prince Harry and Prince William also have nicknames. The seasoned royal writer added that King Charles, Queen Consort, and Queen Elizabeth II have all been given endearing nicknames. King Charles and Camilla chose the names Fred and Gladys for each other before being married since they are both lovers of the comedy series The Goon Show according to Mr. Ray, who also explained why they do so. Princess Diana also discovered jewelry with the initials F and G of the couple's code names engraved on it. In Diana, her true story by Andrew Morton, Diana discussed discovering the jewelry. They also call each other Darling and Mabuba, among other nicknames. The moniker Maybob has been heard being used by Camilla.